Hi YouTube! Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, Season 2 of Free. Uh, right now it has uh, three episodes out and it comes out with a new episode every Wednesday. And right now uh, Ray has been learning how to swim other uh, uh, other strokes because he uh, he was already good at butterfly, uh, but he's learning breaststroke and the others with a ring's help. Uh, I should probably say spoilers <laughs> for those who haven't seen that episode yet. But uh, and we've also met an even earlier childhood friend of Rain's, and we've met Miko Shiba's younger brother, uh, who's also called Miko Shiba. Um, I haven't really memorized either of their first names, so I'm just going to call him Mikoshiba 2. <laughs> um, and uh, we've also been introduced another. Oh, wait, Sosuke. Sosuke is uh, the me me team member for Samazuka swim team that I was thinking of. So it's Rin, Nitori, Sosuke, and Mikoshiba 2, <laughs> uh, who. Are our new Asamizuka swim team members, and uh, at, and Iwatobi still has Haru, Matoko, uh, Nagisa, and Rei. And what was always appealing about Free with season one was that each character kind of reminded you of someone who you actually did know. Like I saw a lot of the relationship. I saw a lot of myself and relationships that I've had with people, with Haru and Rin, and uh, kind of everyone knows a Motoko, sort of. Um, maybe not everyone knows a Ray, but uh, you know of enough people in your real life who are like these uh, characters that it really kind of draws you in, even if you are normally not interested in sports anime or know anything about swimming. And I think that's really been the draw of uh, Free. Um, sure, there's the getting shirtless all the time and half-naked boy, anime boys. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of relationship teasing and with Haru and Makoto and uh, Haru and Rin and Nagisa and Rei. And uh, Rin and Nitori, I, not as much with Rin and Nitori, but there is a lot of relationship teasing. And because anime comes from Japan, which has a different cultural background than I have, that's the reason I'm hesitating to call it queer baiting per se. Though, uh, and I really wouldn't have called it so, if it hadn't been for this most recent episode, because they actually do bring up the topic of Ray having a girlfriend or Ray having a boyfriend, and in this last episode, and um, first they assume that's a girl, then they see that Ray is talking to the former track team member and Go or. She's not complaining anymore when we don't call her Ko, so... I... If I say Ko, or if I say Go, I mean the same character. And if you watch the show, you know who I'm talking about. So, there you go. When... Go, uh... Discovers the track team member that... She, uh... Ray is talking to, she assumes that instead of a girlfriend, it's a boyfriend. And Nagisa Makoto and... Well, Haru not really. So, Managisa and Makoto are kind of like, like, gasp. It can't, can't be a guy. And that's kind of like, well, why not? They're uh, all really gay. <laughs> I have no idea if you guys heard that, but my sister just shouted they're really gay. Um, but, yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> um... And uh, Nagisa is really, really attached to Rei, so it's very easy to think that Nagisa has, like, this huge crush on Rei. And later in the episode, Go confronts Rei about, uh, 
having a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, and he thinks it's the funniest thing ever. Just in general, he calls love to be illogical and that it's so illogical that he won't have anything to do with it. And I think that comment from Ray actually makes a good uh, foundation for like asexual or aromantic Ray, which would be which would be nice. <laughs> I, I have no idea if you guys can hear that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the camera. <laughs> but I ship him with Nagisa. That's not fair. <laughs> Everyone ships him with Nagisa. I don't think that's true. Well, maybe Haru with Haru sometimes, but most people ship him with Nagisa. I think. But, um. But yeah, it definitely gets. <laughs> you love me. I do. It does give credence to the idea that Ray is asexual or aromantic, uh, though it kind of goes, why couldn't, what made Makoto think, because I think, I'm thinking Makoto specifically was like, shock, gasp, horror, when uh, either Go or Nagisa uh, said that Ray had a boyfriend, I think it was Go, because I think Nagisa was like, what? Um, and I'm thinking Makoto was the one who was like, he, he can't have a boyfriend. That Makoto, silly. you are so gay and have no room to talk. <laughs> they all have no room to talk. <laughs> um, so that that's that's kind of where I'm all. Oh, this show this show might not ever really intend to have any of these characters actually be in a romantic relationship with each other. And that might be a little sad because there's like, oh look, almost kissing and stuff like that. And that kind of makes you go, mm. I will sob. But, um, again, more background if you can't hear. We'll see. Um, so that's kind of a little of a, did you have to do that? But I'm really liking Sosuke. I like the tension that's between Sosuke and Haru, and how they're kind of fighting over Rin, though Haru doesn't really fight people. Uh, he just kind of like, I don't understand why you're angry, but okay. <laughs> um, I, I do think Haru might... I do think Haru can be very easily read as autistic, and that makes me happy. Uh, Haru, uh, I'm pretty sure I said Haru, because that's who I meant. Haru. Because um, his special interest is swimming, and he really doesn't interact with people in a way that a lot of people understand. But, uh, and he doesn't really have any idea what he's doing when he graduates. Um, and when you have like a special interest that doesn't really lend itself well to a job, it's kind of all, what am I going to do with my life? Hmm. Um, but anyway, this video is getting a bit long, so I'm going to end it here, and I look forward to watching more free later. Bye!